Yes, this savage is wearing the same clothes for three videos in a row. That's because all three gifts were recorded on the same day. Now, if you've been watching my last two videos, you will know that I mentioned there were three gifts sent to me, each having their own individual videos. And this is last but not least, and it's not just a gift, but a review as well. And that's from Becky's Bugs and Grubs. and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Here we have a box, as I said, from Becky's Bugs and Grubs, a small business online. Now if you like what you see here today, there will be links to Becky's Bugs and Grubs in the link below. If there is anyone that is a small business that would like me to review them, just give me a shout because I like helping the little guy. It's not always about the big names out there. It's about getting everybody that opportunity to be seen, to be heard, and to be able to have a business, providing they're doing everything legally. Where is my knife from Peter gone? Ah, don't worry, Peter. I haven't lost your knife. So this is my knife from Peter Webster himself. If you do not know Peter, Check out his channel, just type in Peter Webster. You'll know the man, lovely guy. Now I'm actually just gonna open the top layer of this box while the camera's on my face because it also has my address on it. And you know what, I probably, I actually don't really care if many people have my address anymore. I've got to that stage now, like where I've received so many gifts from people and nobody sent me anything rotten. So first of all, we have a sticker that was just on the top of this box. Now, Becky has already previously sent me stickers, so I'm gonna pass this one on to somebody else just to give her that bit of advertising. And we'll open the box and look at it together. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Ba -bum -bum. So this is purely a mystery box for me to review the company as a whole. So I don't have a clue what's in here, nor do I have a clue of the value of the box. Oh, straight up, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, if you saw my last video, you'll see that I received some Ghost Mantis, the P Paradoxa, and now I have yet another one. Now this is exciting. Massive thanks to you, Becky, because maybe, maybe I could try a communal after all. So this one is looking to be potentially, potentially male to me. So I'll get this out and have a look at it in just a moment. Maybe we should. You, you let me know in the comments below, should I turn this into a three mantis communal? I have kept a ghost mantis communal in the past without any cannibalism way before my YouTube days. So I reckon it could well be done. Let me know in the comments below, do I do a ghost mantis communal and do I film it for you guys? Thank you for that. So, oh, more stickers. Look, I'm being treasured with these at the moment. Stickers, stickers everywhere. I don't know how many things to expect in here. Just a couple or three or four or... Okay, so we've got a vial. Ah, so we've got a Pseudoclamorus gigas here. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is one of my favorite tarantulas. I actually have a few slings of these, but I do absolutely adore them. And the good thing about this is all of mine are from the same sack. So now that I have another P gigas, this will be from a completely different egg sac, meaning that I can breed with some stronger genetics, stronger bloodline. Ah, oh, yes. So these are very quick. I'll show you properly in a minute, guys, because they do run. So yeah, we've got a mix of bloodline for our P. Giga, so that is pretty awesome. What else have we got? Right, where can I pop these? There we go. Okay, there's at least two more in here. This is a very kind gift. Thank you very, very much. Much appreciated. Oh, sweet. So we've got uh, an L. Kluge here, Lassiodora Kluge. Now, I've never had one of these, and I do like the Lassiodora genus, so I am pretty happy to be having one of these. Okay, I can spot it. It's alive and well in there. So Lassiodora, they're a big genus, they're a new world genus, 
they have a lot of similarities in appearance some can be a bit a little bit more stocky but yeah this is one that i have been considering purchasing myself so that is wicked now i think there's one more in here but let me just double check before i read it fantastic so we're on the last one here from my gift so far this is pretty awesome so what is going to be the last vial today are you ready that light is right on my face look at me i look really pasty and weird Ooh. Could do a halloween video like this can i sorry I'm, I'm entertaining myself on my camera screen right the last one of today is ah oh, this this is amazing because the Tapuccinus with the common name of Caribbean Diamond is the Tapuccinus Rasti. Now that is the one and only tappy I've ever purchased that happened to pass away in my collection. All other tappies and Pseudoclamoris have been successful at getting either to adulthood or from sling to juvie so far on their way to adulthood. And the only one I ever failed was the Rasti, the Caribbean Diamond, which I have been looking into purchasing again for ages and I've just never brought myself to just buy the other sling. I just kept thinking over in my head again, what if I fail it again? You know, I love these guys. They look really cool when they grow up. So let's just check that this one is happy and healthy. Now, these guys are lightning fast, right? You're talking, these are new worlds, but they can be quick like your old worlds. I can't actually see it. Okay, got it. It's in the crevice of the of the tissue. So I saw a little bit of web, moved the web, and there it was. Massive thank you to you, Becky. So that is amazing, absolutely amazing. So to just get this for free is fantastic. So if you want to support a small business, please head on to the website in my description below and check out what she's got. And remember guys, these folks can't always get in as much stock as some of the larger companies, but that doesn't mean that stock is not gonna continuously come in over time. So I know that there's been a lot of people that they look at some of the businesses and they're like, there's nothing there for me today and then forget about them. Never forget about them guys. And that is why also Bugbook is a very good place for your social media because it keeps all of these people in one directory so if there are any small businesses that would like to be seen speak to me i will contact nick and we will get you on the bug book platform where your business can continuously be seen so all that's left to do is rehouse these three tarantulas we're going to leave the mantis in its cup for now because i am going to wait and see if you guys want me to do a ghost mantis communal or not so we will start off i think just doing our kluge because it's probably going to be the slowest of the three to deal with and there it is just your basic looking sling your brown with a sort of darker abdomen but they will grow up to look like big furry beasts pretty cool sorry guys i've never had my camera at this angle before i don't know if that's going to work for you or not there it is being a pain in the bum fragment of tissue and it's still holding on come on ah all right your legs out the way little dude I don't want to clip them in move your legs Becky you've sent me the spider that has a uh, a death wish or a leg crushing wish Right, your legs off now, they're off now. Okay, cool. So, don't copy me. That I made that way less simplistic than it needed to be. So there we have it. So in another molt, I'll move it up to something slightly bigger with a bit more substrate. That is our Kluge, nice and easily done. Now these two are both arboreal species and I'm actually gonna be upgrading the rest of my P. gigas into slightly taller enclosures soon so i may as well start with this one so simplicity at its best just a bit of substrate and a stick it's all we're going to be using for now now the lid has a bit of mesh in it this is uh, a fabric mesh that i was used for mantis it's, the spider isn't going to get trapped in it the uh, the holes are too big for that so first of all we're going to do our 
our gigas. So it's just in there. You'll get a better look at these in just a moment. I'll encourage this spider out and then I'll show you guys afterwards. Uh, where did you go? And he's out, just like that. Let's take a look. So there it is. Another baby P. Gigas. I don't actually mind if this one's male or female because I've got a bunch of them. My favourite tarantula. And what was my first tarantula? Obviously not this one specifically. That would just not make any sense to be bonkers. But you know what I mean. Wicked. So this is a huge enclosure for a sling that size. But this is how I raised my first sling. Not in one of these parts as such, but in a container this sort of size for such a diddy sling. And I was successful with it all the way to adulthood. So I'm going to pop that there for a minute. We're going to get another one of these pots and we will do a Caribbean diamond. Our tea. Rusty. So, being a bit of a special tarantula and probably the favourite Becky has sent me, I made their enclosure a little nicer. So we have some leaves and a one twisty stick. Now, these tarantulas are kept pretty much the same as the Pseudoclamorus gigas. I just wanted it to look that little bit extra special. Now, which crevice was this spider hidden in? Because I don't remember. So, you probably can't see very well on the camera, but it is there. I think I'm going to use my pull the tissue trick for this one. Because there is so much tissue. Come on little dude. Yes, that's what I wanted you to do. Beautiful. Okay, our Caribbean Diamond Tea Rusty is in. Let's have a little look, shall we? So there it is. Again, slings might not be much to look at for you guys, but honestly, this is going to grow up to be a beauty. A lot of tappies do look rather similar, unless under the correct lighting. So when it grows up, I'll show you it in comparison to some of my others. Mind you, a few of them are males, so they'd probably be gone by the time this one grows up. But I have a couple of females as well. I have a female T. Cuprius and a female T. Latapes. So, yeah. I want to show you the top of this spider, really. There it is. Haha, I didn't run away. So, we've got our two tappies there, we've got our Lassiodora Klugi. Oh yes, where did I put that ghost mantis? Like, legit, where did I put it? Hello? Oh, gotcha, next to me brew. Let's just take the lid off and have a quick look at this guy before we end the video. And there he is on top of our tea rusty so you can see this one's darker than the other ones we had I know it's a bit silhouetted in that light but let me bring it up for you there you go so it's a bit of a darker brown coloration than the other two that we got and that's cool I actually quite like silhouetted mantis oh, I can't get it to work in that light there beautiful you know what, I don't understand why Mantis views never hit as much on YouTube. I think they're just as fascinating as keeping tarantulas and other inverts. Full of character, amazing pets, aside from their not so great life span, I think they're wonderful. Right, I can't put this guy back in one handed. Bear with me. So there we have it folks, you've got three videos of three sets of gifts. I've got to say, everything was fantastic with Becky's Bugs and Grubs. I'll give her top marks, everything was packed cool, 
it was safe, it was secure, the animals looked healthy, they looked well fed. Uh, I couldn't really say anything to bring it down. It was an excellent selection. I think somebody has been watching my channel to see the kinds of things I'm interested in. And rightly so, that's the way you do good business, isn't it? So massive thanks to Becky. Remember to go in the link in the description below to check out her channel. Thank you for bearing with me, guys. I am going to have to be doing a lot of my filming on one singular day a week now that I'm back to work because it's got that difficult there for me personally um, that I have no energy after a shift or even before one to film anymore. So until the situation of the world has kind of improved and my work can go back to normal, there is going to be a lot of filming in one day. So I do my best not to make my work slipping in any way, but please do actually let me know. Just send me a private message and go, Sam, mate, your videos are getting rubbish uh, so that I can kind of find a new schedule to how I, how I do this. Because in making these videos, I do it for you guys. You're my number ones, you're my audiences, you're the people that are taking the time and the money to watch my content. And I would never forgive myself if I made it slip that low that you guys stopped enjoying my content. So a massive, massive thank you to everyone. Now, if you want to see what else dwells within the realm, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. That's going to be it from me. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.